tonight, we close a historic landscape changing week in the WWE Universe. Welcome to the 2021 WWE Draft on SmackDown. We are live from Houston and presented by Progressive, your number one choice in auto and home insurance. Here are the rules for night two of the WWE Draft. 14 picks will be made. Each brand will get seven. Tag teams will count as one unless specifically requested by the general manager. Everyone is eligible to be drafted, including champions. Champions will be drafted with their titles, except women's champions. Announced picks have been chosen at random by an AI system. And here are the results from night one. Monday Night Raw got their hands on Kevin Owens, the Little League Champion, Randy Orton, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, Ricochet, and Charlotte Flair. Pinball SmackDown got the New Day, Rey Mysterio, Jeff Hardy, Braun Strowman, Cesaro, Buddy Murphy, and Bianca Belair. So to come tonight, ladies and gentlemen, our big main event, the SmackDown Women's Championship will be on the line. It will be Becky Lynch against the recently drafted Shayna Baszler. We'll talk more about this during our main event later tonight here on SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. In the meantime, we are kicking things off with the WWE title up for grabs. It's a battle to save SmackDown. You know, um, on the road to WrestleMania, anything can happen. Kevin Owens jumped ship to SmackDown after winning the 2021 Royal Rumble. He decided to come here to SmackDown to take the WWE Championship from Seth Rollins, and by God, he succeeded. The problem with that is that Last night, during the first night of the WWE Draft, Kevin Owens got drafted back to Monday Night Raw. And now SmackDown does not have a world champion. And the ironic thing of this entire situation is that Seth Rollins is now the one tasked with bringing the championship back to SmackDown. Now, I talked to SmackDown management earlier tonight before the show kicked off. They said they will do anything and everything to get a world championship back here on SmackDown. That includes helping Seth Rollins in this match? We don't know. We don't know what's, what, what SmackDown management is capable of doing, but you can't have a show without a world champion. And unfortunately for us, we just lost ours. Now, I'm not one to be cheering for Seth Rollins because I'm not one to embrace the vision but tonight we won that title back home and here's your WWE Champion Kevin Owens as you saw in the graphic now identified as a member of the Monday Night Raw roster Kevin Owens had very little knowledge or control over what was going to happen here. Remember, all of the draft picks in the 2021 WWE Draft are chosen at random by an AI machine. Kevin Owens got the short end of the stick. He got drafted first, but to Monday Night Raw. For Kevin Owens, this shouldn't be an issue. He's still the WWE Champion. However, there's a huge bounty on his head now to bring that title back home. Kevin Owens winning WWE Championship for the first time ever at WrestleMania. This is his first defense of the championship and Seth Rollins' his mandatory rematch since losing the championship at WrestleMania. Let's send it down to introductions. Introducing the challenger from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! And introducing the champion from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, 
weighing in at 266 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens! Big Five Field here tonight as we kick off the WWE Draft Night 2 with a World Championship matchup. This is a pay-per-view main event caliber match. And we're getting it here tonight to open SmackDown. It's Rollins. Always. There's the bell. Here we go. Corner will we'll tie up. Rollins pushing, uh, pushing Rollins into the ropes. And now the referee separating them and a little bit of a uh, Question there from Kevin Owens as he hammers away on Seth Rollins. You know, I talked to Kevin Owens. He said, of course, he had no control over where he was going to be drafted, but also he wasn't going to give up his first WWE Championship just so SmackDown could have a world champion, especially not to Seth Rollins. So you can expect a lot of aggression from Kevin Owens tonight. That's a man that's not willing. To give up his seat on the table. Beautiful DDT there by Seth Rollins. Planting down Kevin Owens. And again, we're not ones. We're supposed to be, of course, impartial. But this is SmackDown, and we want the World Championship. So I guess we would have to cheer for Seth Rollins in this match. Rollins out to dry on that top rope. We're going to follow it up here off the second. Cover! And a kick out. And now Owens sent into the ropes. He blocks Rollins. What is Owens thinking here? He's carrying out and Saturn runs on top of his shoulders. Lands him down with a power bomb. Shoulders down to retain the championship and a kick out at two. Well, he's now in the corner. Oh, it's Harry. Hey, look at that. We talked about this aggression. We talked about Owens being unwilling. To give up his seat. And that's what we're watching here. But we're also talking about, you know, desperation. Seth Rollins wants to bring the championship back to SmackDown and also wants to add another notch at, at his bed post. He wants another world championship reign under his belt. This would, of course, equal to embracing the mission. It would prove that WrestleMania was just a hurdle in the road. Rollins setting Owens up on the ropes. Driving Owens throat first into that bottom rope. Knee across the back by Rollins. And now these two trading shot to the chest. Going for a super kick. Rollins blocks it. And now Rollins brings down Owens. Applying pressure to the head. Trying to get Owens to perhaps tap out of here, but Owens, very wisely, finds a way out. And now Owens sends Rollins over the third rope. Right now here to ringside in front of our announce table. Owens waiting for Rollins to get back to his feet. And now, whoa! Somebody catch him! Seth Rollins on the receiving end of a flying Kevin Owens. Owens follows that. Oh, with a stutter! 
The stunner hits. Owens needs to get Rollins back on the ring. He needs to cover him and Rollins very wisely. Pushing Owens off. Creating separation and now going for the springboard and he gets it. Springboard by Rollins. Rollins looks to capitalize here. Super kick connects. And now Rollins. Looking to put this away right here. For another world championship run. Curb stomp connects. Seth Rollins could be feeling it. He could be feeling another world title run coming. Into the cover. Hooks the inside leg. Is it enough? And it, oh my goodness. Kevin Owens power side of two. Kevin Owens decisively getting the shoulder up in this match. Staying in it. And now Rollins going for the drop of the elbow. He gets it. Follows that over the cover. Shoulders down. Is it enough to win the championship and a kick out? Rollins looking to continue the dominance here. And now Owens. He's at cradle. Shoulders down. Is it enough to retain the championship? Kick out at two. And what the hell? Oh my god, it's Finn Balor! Mr. Money in the Bank, Finn Balor! Mr. Money in the Bank, Finn Balor! He's cashing in! Finn Balor is cashing in! Ladies and gentlemen, Finn Balor is cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase! There's the bell, here we go! This is now a triple threat match! We talked about how SmackDown management wanted to do anything and everything to get that title here to SmackDown. And Finn Balor now with a coup de grace to Seth Rollins. Shoulders down, hooks the leg, is it enough to put Rollins away? Rollins gets the shoulder up. And now this has become a battle between two SmackDown superstars in Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. And I think this is exactly what SmackDown management wanted. Shoulders down again. Is it enough to win the championship? Balor looking for the world title run and a kick out. And while Owens returns to the ring, perhaps going for a stunner on Balor and Balor. Slim blade on Rollins. This is an unbelievable moment. We talked about how. SmackDown management wanted to do anything and everything to get that title back to SmackDown and this may be the result of it. That's Balor now. Drives Owens right into the corner. That leads into a cover, hooks the leg, is it enough to put him away? Owens powers at it too. This may be turning out to be a little bit more difficult for Balor than he initially thought when he cashed in as always takes the sense on this is a proper triple threat match now. And now Balor attacking Owens. Owens seems to be out of the equation here. The attention turns to Rawlings and Balor with the 1916. Hooks the inside leg of the 1916. Finn Balor is your new WWE Champion. Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion, Finn Balor. This is outrageous. We were having this incredible match for the WWE title between Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. Things were going quite well. Owens would go for the cover here. And as soon as... Rollins would pump up. Finn Balor would come out, briefcase in hand, rush to the ring, announce that he was cashing in, and turn this into a triple threat match. From that point forward, things got a little bit sticky for everybody. Balor would hit the coup de grace on Rollins, but it wasn't quite enough. The match would continue as Rollins would pop off of the two count. We saw the small package here again. Balor, perhaps thinking that this one could have been one a little bit more easier. 
And then Balor would turn his attention to Kevin Owens. Driving him right into the corner. And then back to Rollins for the 1916. And that was all she wrote. Balor would win the title again. Finn Balor brings the title home to SmackDown. We're right live on SmackDown just moments ago before the great Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins were having this incredible match for the WWE Championship only to be interrupted by Finn Balor who would rush to the ring with the Money in the Bank briefcase in hand with one goal and one goal only and that was to bring the WWE Championship to SmackDown. Balor would hit 1916 and Seth Rollins to make sure that the blue brand would get their championship back we have a new WWE Champion in Finn Balor. Now let's head to Stephanie McMahon for tonight's graphics. Welcome to the second and final night of the WWE Draft. And now for the first round. Monday Night Raw selects... Who? Who do they select? You've got to be kidding me. A we curse. Finn Balor. We just lost the WWE Championship again. Finn Balor has been drafted to Monday Night Raw. This... This is outrageous. I think we're cursed on SmackDown. We definitely must be cursed. And headed to Friday Night SmackDown... The big dog, Roman Reigns! We are blessed! We have a world champion! Yes, the head of the table, the current world heavyweight champion! The Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman are coming over to SmackDown! Hell yes! Headed to Monday Night Raw. Oh, this is interesting! So three-fourths of the Undisputed Era are now on Monday Night Raw. Roderick Strong joins Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish on Monday night. Friday Night Smackdown is about to get classed up with the sassy Southern Belle, Lacey Evans. Oh, this is a really good pick. Former WWE Women's Tag Team Champion, the sassy Southern Belle, Lacey Evans. Moving over to Friday night to forge a new path. This was a historic round. Finn Balor, the WWE Champion, now part of Monday Night Raw. Roman Reigns, the World Heavyweight Champion, finally coming over to SmackDown. Roderick Strong joining the Undisputed Era on Raw and Lacey Evans. Moving over to Friday night. A historic and uh, satisfying, dare I say, round of the 2021 WWE Draft as we continue the action here. Here comes the ESD. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair makes her SmackDown debut against Candice LeRae live next. We're back live on SmackDown. This is night two of the 2021 WWE Draft. There's the bell. Here we go. It's newly acquired Bianca Belair going one-on-one -on -one against Candice LeRae. And for those of you just joining us, we've already had a historic night. Finn Balor cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase, became WWE Champion. And later, he was drafted to Monday Night Raw with the championship. And immediately after Monday Night Raw lost their world champion, or their extra world champion, I should say, Roman Reigns drafted to SmackDown, the head of the table, along with Paul Heyman coming over here to SmackDown on the space. Roderick Strong joining Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish in the Undisputed Era on Monday Night Raw. Still no sign of Adam Cole, though. And Lacey Evans, now a part of SmackDown as well, and I'm sure Lacey is taking a closer look into this match. 
and into the SmackDown Women's Division. And speaking of the SmackDown Women's Division, later tonight, the SmackDown Women's Championship will be on the line between Shayna Baszler and Becky Lynch. You know, Bianca Belair is uh, quite a specimen. Former Raw Women's Champion. Who held that championship for the better part of six months last year. Here's the cover. Hook the leg. It's not a kick out. Very impressive. She calls herself the EST of WWE because she's the fastest, the strongest, the bestest, if you will. Belair. Driving Candice LeRae into the mat. This is a big opportunity for Candice LeRae, who I feel is yet to make a, a big, significant uh, amount of punishment in the SmackDown Women's Division. If she could raid on the parade of Bianca Belair here, it would be huge. You chop to the face there by Bianca. Whoa! Yeah, oh, Randy now. Now Candice, looking to capitalize off the reversal, back and forth we go. It's Candice who won the corner now, on the receiving end of those kicks by Bianca Belair. now just driving Candice LeRae into the canvas more and more punishment on the way from Bianca Belair but here's the thing about this Candice LeRae is making Bianca Belair work, work here tonight it's bad now. great kicks there by Bianca Belair as she repeats it obviously trying to ship away at the torso of Candice LeRae Kicked to the plexus, and now Belair. We've seen these before, trying to turn Candice LeRae upside down. And Candice LeRae may be on the receiving end of the KOD here, but LeRae finds a way out of it. Pushes Bianca Belair off. Belair doesn't, look the, doesn't lose the grip, though. Stacks her up for recover, and he's too close to the ropes. Faced by Bianca Belair to remain in control of this match. And now Belair is just setting up Loray on the top row. Oh my goodness, look at the power of Bianca Belair just carrying the weight of Candice Loray and then dropping her. Then set on the ring for a cover. Hooks the leg. Is it enough to put her away in a kick out by Loray? Bianca Belair is certainly chipping away at Candice LeRae, but Candice LeRae is certainly not budging in this match. Belair pushing LeRae out, back and forth with Del LeRae, trying to take control of this match. She's got Bianca in a very precarious situation here. What is LeRae thinking? <coughs> Array with Bianca off the top round, swinging neck breaker from the top rope into a cover. Shoulders down, is it enough to put Bianca away and a kick out? This is a match and a half. What a performance by both Loray and Bel Air here tonight on SmackDown. Array looking to capitalize, stacks her up again, way too close to the rope. Out to the face, and Belair wants to put this match away. Array using the ropes to her advantage, though, and Belair is gonna use that to her advantage. Now, Belair just once again waiting for Loray to get back to her feet. Here we go, about to get taken for a ride again. That leads into a cover. 
Hooks the leg, isn't it out? Wait, Larray Lare gets the shoulder up. Bianca, not done here. Maybe looking for that KOD again, and once again, Larray blocks it. Stacks her up. I think Bianca, she's wonderful. She needs a, a lot more ring awareness here. And now, uh, Lorray sent face first into the turbuckle. And Bianca is looking to very slowly climb up to the top rope. Beautiful frog splash off the top, shoulders down, hooks the leg, he's going to dump the Lorray, Lorray! Shakes herself off as this match continues. Reversal here by Bianca, and now Bianca. Backslide, shoulders down, he's hitting up, and a kick out. Earlier I used the words that uh, Candice LeRae was making Bianca work, and that's exactly what we're watching here. As LeRae runs out of the ring. I don't think that's something Belair wants. You don't want Candice LeRae catching her breath. Now, here it is. The inverted powerbomb again by Belair. Could her time be the charm? Hoops the inside leg. Got her. What a man. Bianca Belair impresses on her debut on SmackDown and so does Candice LeRae. A hell of a matchup between these two here tonight. No KOD, no problem. Bianca Belair is here on SmackDown to take over. Well, still to come tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the SmackDown Women's Championship will be on the line. It'll be Becky Lynch. Defending against Shayna Baszler. Shayna's mandatory rematch in our main event, SmackDown tonight. We're back live for the WWE Draft. There you see the first round. Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, Roderick Strong, and Lacey Evans changing brands. As we come back to Stephanie McMahon. For round two of the WWE Draft. Kicking off round two of the WWE Draft, headed to Monday Night Raw, the goddess Alexa Bliss. Interesting choice here. Alexa Bliss, the goddess of WWE, multiple time women's champion, and the winner of the 2021 WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal was gonna shoot up to the top of the division, and now that's gonna happen on Monday Night Raw. And SmackDown selects Otis. Interesting choice as well. Otis, who had been a part of a tag team for most of his career, now being drafted as a singles competitor. And we welcome him with open arms here on SmackDown. Headed to Monday Night Raw. Who? Who's heading to Monday Night Raw? Oh, this is good. Tyler Bate and Trent Seven, Mustache Mountain, former NXT Tag Team Champions, made it all the way to the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic this year, and now they're headed to Monday Night Raw. And SmackDown selects the Viking Raiders. Oh, this is a great pick for the SmackDown Tag Team Division. Former World Tag Team Champions Eric and Ivar of the Tag Team, the Viking Raiders, are coming over to SmackDown, and this is how the second round looks. Alexa Bliss headed to Monday Night Raw. Otis coming to SmackDown, Mustache Mountain headed to Raw, and we get in return the Viking Raiders. This ought to be a good, good development in the SmackDown Tag Team Division. And that concludes round two of the WWE Draft. In the meantime, here's the Cruiserweight Champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall.
making his way to the ring from Cardiff, Wales. Weighing in at 147 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion. Cruiserweight champion Mark Andrews so far safe from the WWE draft. And he has a very important matchup coming up here tonight. You'll see in just a minute. As Mandrews takes to the rain. Mandrews has been champion since February when he defeated Rico Shaft Fast. I should say Mark. When he defeated Rico Shaft Fast Lane and successfully retained that championship in a ladder match at WrestleMania. And this is exactly what I was talking about. A huge first time ever matchup is coming up against SmackDown's US acquisition, Jeff Hardy. And his opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, Weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! It's Hardy versus Mandrews, next! We are back live on SmackDown. This is night two of the 2021 WWE Draft. We have SmackDown's newest acquisition, Jeff Hardy, going one-on-one -on -one against the Cruiserweight Champion, Mark Andrews. Hardy pushing Mandrews off, and now Mandrews with the reversal. Hardy in the corner at the mercy of Mandrews. He fires back. Mandrews fires back. Back and forth we go. Drop kick down goes Hardy. Hardy fires back. Down goes Mandrews. And now. Into a cover, hooks the leg. It's enough and a quick kick out by the Cruiserweight Champion. There's Mandrews looking to capitalize, but Hardy says no. Electric share. Mandrews in trouble. He falls. Hardy in control, controlling the head, and now Hardy. Pushed off by Mandrews. Mandrews looking to capitalize here. Here we go! That scissors takedown. Hardy bouncing off the corner, right into Mandrews, who hooks him right in for the suplex. Andrews driving Hardy into the canvas. Andrews going for the 450 and Hardy got both knees up. That's going to set Mandrews back in this match. Hardy takes control. He sets Mandrews on the ropes, but Mandrews sends Hardy flying over the third rope to the outside. Mandrews waiting for Hardy to get back to his feet, but Hardy moves out of the way. Mandrew, he crashes and burns. And there goes Mandrews riding to the steel steps. And Jeff Hardy now in full control of this match. Andrews sent right back into the ring. Hardy with a shot to the face of Andrews. Andrews needing a breather, rolls out to the apron. Hardy looking to capitalize off this, bringing Mark back into the ring. Andrews blocking Hardy here. He's got Hardy on the ropes, and we know what happens when Andrews has got you on the ropes. He's going to take it high. Topical hero. Two. Three. 
Beautiful topical hero by Mandrews. Hardy returns to the ring. Using the ropes to prop himself back up into that DDT. That's something. Mandrews off the second rope. Hardy gets both knees up. Mandrews crashes right into Hardy's knees. Back first. And now Hardy looking to capitalize, but Mandrews doesn't allow it. Mandrews is going to try it again. He's headed to the second rope. And Hardy says no, not again. Hardy capitalizing on the momentum of the reversal. And now Jeff, twist of fate. Of the twist of fate, hooks the leg. Is it enough to put Mandrus away? And Mandrus kicks out at two. Hardy with the leg drop. Andrews pushes him right off, kick to the plexus, and now Andrews, here we go, look out! Slumdog Millionaire! Shoulders down here, hooks the leg, is it enough to put Hardy away? Referee taking a little bit longer there in a kick out. And I point that out because that could be the reason why Hardy kicks out there. Andrews going right up to the leg of Jeff, up to the arm I should say, good grief. Up to the arm of Jeff Hardy, and now Mandrews headed to the top rope. Looking down at Hardy with the shooting star press. Shoulders down, hooks the leg, is it enough? Mark Andrews picks up the victory here tonight. A hell of a match between Mandrews and Jeff Hardy. And look at this. The show of respect and the vote of confidence by Jeff Hardy on young Mark Andrews. Talented individuals, both of them. Still to come tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the SmackDown Women's Championship will be up for grabs. Becky Lynch will grant her rematch to Shayna Baszler. That is our main event. SmackDown tonight. We are back live, and this is what happened in the previous round of the WWE Draft. Round 2, Alexa Bliss. To Raw, Otis to SmackDown, Mustache Mountain to Raw and the Viking Raiders to SmackDown. That was round two. Are we ready for round three? If we are, let's send it to Stephanie McMahon, the Chief Brand Officer, in the ring for more draft picks. It's time for round three of the WWE Draft. Up first, Monday Night Raw selects. Oh, this is a great pick, Baron Corbin. The Lone Wolf, former United States champion Baron Corbin, taking his services to Monday Night Raw. Friday Night SmackDown chooses the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. Hey, Carmella. Welcome back to Friday Night's former Miss Money in the Bank, former SmackDown Women's Champion Carmella. Looking to make a splash on Friday night. Headed to Monday Night Raw. Who could it be? Oh. Oh, a very interesting pig. We got a package deal. Ruby Ryan and Liv Morgan coming together as a tag team to Monday Night Raw, the Women's Tag Team Division. Better be on notice. Friday Night SmackDown selects the man we used to walk with, Elias. Oh, this is always a great pick. He's a world-renowned artist, number one singles on iTunes and Spotify, and now he's bringing his talents to SmackDown. Welcome to Friday Night, Elias. And this is how round three is looking. Baron Corbin headed to Raw, Carmella headed to SmackDown, the Riot Squad. Moving to Monday Night Raw, and Elias bringing his single release to SmackDown. A solid round of the WWE Draft as we send it right back to ringside. Here comes the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. Well, Nakamura certainly had a sour time last week. With the return of John Morrison tonight, 
Nakamura is looking to even the score. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! After falling to Joe Morrison last week, Nakamura wants him one on one. In the first time ever matchup, it's Nakamura versus Morrison live next. And we are back live on SmackDown. This is the 2021 WWE Draft Night 2 on their way. Caught on elbow tie up between Morrison and Nakamura. The match we're watching here last week. We saw the return of John Morrison. Into the WWE. He scored a victory along with the amazing attack team match against Nakamura and Ali. Nakamura said, I want him one on one. And that's what we're getting here. Nakamura pushing Morrison off. And now Morrison bouncing off the corner into Nakamura. Body slam by Nakamura. Nakamura now headed to the top rope, waiting for Morrison to be in a good position so he can do this. Drive his knee right across the chest of the Chamana Sexy. Morrison, a former Intercontinental Champion, former Tag Team Champion, alongside The Miss. And now Morrison, driven! Right into the ropes. Nakamura just continuing. Look at those shots by Nakamura. Certainly exciting move there. That will leave you dizzy no matter what. But Morrison quickly fires back with a German suplex of his own. Going for a draw kick. Nakamura pushes him off. And now Morrison kicked the leg. Going right for the leg of Nakamura. Nakamura moves out of the way. Instead, body slam by Nakamura on Morrison. Morrison, however, keeps back up. And Nakamura says, we'll do it again. And another body slam. Right up to the arm of Morris in there. You know, Nakamura can sometimes um, rely on an arm bar submission maneuver to win matches. And as we're seeing here, a single leg Boston Crab. Nakamura pushed right off. And Morrison is looking to make a cover off the reversal. Shoulders down. Boops the leg and a quick kick out by Nakamura. DDT by Joe Morrison and Chinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura sent over the third row by Morrison. Morrison is to capitalize instead of taunting Nakamura, which is what we were seeing there. Nakamura manages to get the reversal, head to the top rope. Say he sights on Morrison and hit the spinning drop kick up the top rope. Quite an impressive maneuver there for Shinsuke Nakamura, I'll say that. And now Nakamura, here we go! He burned suplex! Shinsuke going right up to the cover here, hoops the leg, and a kick out by Morrison. Nakamura just waiting for Morrison to get back to his feet. Going for the kick. King Chasa! Who's the land? It's too close to the ropes. And this is um a miscalculation that we've seen from both Nakamura and Bianca Belair earlier tonight. Way too close to the ropes when trying to Get the best of your opponent, and that little break that they get just helps them breathe. As we see a cover here by Nakamura, hooks the leg, and we get quick kickouts like this one. The 
Breeze here live into the mat. Crucifix takedown, shoulders to the mat. Is it enough to put Morrison away here? Oh, Morrison, Harris out of two. Morrison fires back at Nakamura. Nakamura, very wise, going right up to the ribs of Joe Morrison. Going right up to a body slam to continue working on that previous damage. They're blocked there by Morrison. They trace shots. Morrison blocks Nakamura here. It's Morrison thinking instead. Going for a power bomb. Beautiful power bomb by Morrison. He needs to capitalize off of this. That could be the opening that he needed in this match. There's the drop kick on Shinsuke. Going for the super kick. Beautiful, beautiful super kick. Leads into a cover. Hooks the leg. Is it enough to put Nakamura away here? And that could have been it. But Nakamura powers out of two. Nakamura with the drop kick. And here's Nakamura. Inverted suplex. Shinsuke Nakamura. Danny Morrison. Back to the position. King Shasta! Into the cover. Hoops the leg. And Shinsuke Nakamura. Pips of the Here victory. Is your winner. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura still wants a shot at the Mrs. Intercontinental Championship. He might get it sooner rather than later. Still to come tonight. SmackDown Women's Championship up for grabs. Becky Lynch takes on Shayna Baszler with the SmackDown Women's title on the line. Our main event tonight. And we are back live on the 2021 WWE Draft. This was round three earlier tonight. Aaron Corby moving to Raw. Carmella moving to SmackDown. The Riot Squad moving to Raw. And Elias moving to SmackDown. Let's send it to Stephanie McMahon for the final round of the WWE Draft. Final two picks are coming your way. The first pick in the fourth round of the WWE Draft, Monday Night Raw chooses... Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me, is it? Yes, sir, Adam Cole completes the deal. It took his sweet time, but Adam Cole is joining the rest of the Undisputed Era on Monday Night Raw. Friday Night Smackdown is about to become phenomenal with AJ Styles. Oh, this is a great pick. Multiple time world champion, most recently a former United States champion. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles, moves over to SmackDown, and that closes the draft. Here are the results for night two. Finn Balor moving over to Raw with the WWE title. Roderick Strong, Alexa Bliss, Mustache Mountain, Baron Corbin, the Riot Squad, and Adam Cole joining him. Roman Reigns with the World Championship, Lacey Evans, Otis, the Viking Raiders, Carmella, Elias, and AJ Styles coming over. To SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This is it. Our main event for the SmackDown Women's Championship is coming up next. And earlier tonight, I tell you. Uh, during the main event, I will explain to you how these match was going to work. And as you can see, right now on your screen is Chayna Baszler, no longer a member of the SmackDown roster. She is a Monday Night Raw. So what happens if Chayna Baszler wins the SmackDown Women's Championship tonight? She will be attributed one more reign at the SmackDown Women's Championship, but she will have to surrender that championship immediately. And the championship will be vacated as Baszler 
works now on my main fight. Bro, so what's the point here? Of course, other than giving Chain of Ace her, her God-given rematch at the championship. I'd say God-given as, as if the lore was out there giving out rematches. Her contractual rematch at the SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, this is spite for Shayna Baszler. She wants to ruin Becky Lynch's comeback. She wants to ruin the Cinderella story. Becky Lynch loses the championship tonight. She would have to go to square one. She would have to go through whatever SmackDown management comes up to fill that championship vacancy. And Shayna Baszler would leave for Monday Night Raw with a smile on her face. Here's the man! The SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch, winner of the 2021 Women's Royal Rumble, made her return after almost a year absent from the WWE. And immediately set her target for her sworn nemesis, Shayna Baszler. At WrestleMania, Lynch was very, very adamant in trying to make Shayna Baszler tap out. That did not happen. However, Becky Lynch still walked out with the Women's Championship. I did talk to Becky Lynch earlier. She said she regrets not pushing hard on that submission maneuver, but she understood that the assignment was not to make Shayna Baszler tap out, but to walk out with the Women's Championship, and that's what she did. This is our main event tonight, SmackDown Women's Championship up for grabs. Let's send it out to introduction. Introducing the challenger from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler. And introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Capacity crowd here tonight in H-Town. The SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line in our main event. This is our second title match of the evening. We already saw what uh, could have been done. What, uh, the craziness that happened during the WWE Championship match. Let's hope this one goes out without a hitch. First of all, here we go. SmackDown Women's Championship on the line. Becky Lynch taking control of Chain of Baszler. Baszler quickly firing back right after Lynch's arm. And here's the thing about both of these girls. They're both submission specialists. Shayna Baszler's uh, nickname is the Submission Magician. She will make you tap out. And of course, uh, Becky Lynch, of course, has her Dishonor submission maneuver. She's been widely successful for a while. Baszler in control of the early goings of this match. Roll side of the ring. Get a breather. Of course, get the best of Shane on the outside. DDT. On the ringside area. Here are the Toyota Center. Baszler not shaken though. She creates separation. Sends Lynch back into the ring. Tries to capitalize with a kick. Lynch fires back to drop kick. And she drops Shane on Baszler to the net. Lynch now headed to the top rope. Looking to capitalize. Looking for Baszler. Center of the ring. Leg drop. Beautiful leg drop by Becky Lynch. Lynch will follow that up with a cover. Shoulder stop. Puts the leg and a kick. This is uh, Lynch's first title defense in quite some time. As a matter of fact, we can. Uh, the last time that Becky Lynch was women's champion, she lost her championship to Shayna Baszler. And that was back at Battleground 2018. Been a while since these two had faced off. This is only the fourth time these two go one on one in championship matches. And now Maisler sent. Shoulder first into the turnbuckle post. And this is sort of like a follow up on what we saw at WrestleMania. Lynch works the arm, weakens the arm, trying to get the disarmor, trying to get that submission maneuver. This is um, 
This is where you see moves like sending base to the shoulder first into the turnbuckle post. It's just gonna weaken her arm. It's gonna weaken uh, her shoulder, and, and that's gonna allow Becky to perhaps get what she didn't get at WrestleMania, which is that submission on Shayna Baszler. Well, you see it that way as well. The way that she tossed Shayna uh, into into that suplex with her arm behind her back, so that Shayna's entire weight would fall on the arm. Becky Lynch getting innovative from the outside. Lynch now headed to the top rope, looking down at Shayna Baszler. What is Becky thinking here? Beautiful! You're a Kanrana into a cover, shoulder sound, and a kick out. And that leads into an arm drag. Shayna Baszler at the mercy of Becky Lynch. Lynch right after the arm of Baszler again and look at this look at the way she's twisting and turning that arm and pulling on that arm she wants to weaken those arms she she wants to rectify what she couldn't do at Wrestlemania she wants to make Shayna Baszler tap out you're seeing it here the psychology of Becky Lynch continuing to work on the arms of Shayna Baszler she's looking for that disarmor later on in this match and she could get Shayna Baszler to tap out something that couldn't happen at Wrestlemania and here we go Lynch not wasting any time going right up to the Disarmor the Disarmor is locked in the Disarmor locked in on Shayna Baszler is Baszler gonna tap out center of the ring in the main event and Baszler once again just like at Wrestlemania finds a way out we have the kick here Instead, Lynch turns it into a cover. So this now is coming up to retain the championship here on SmackDown and a very close near fall. It doesn't get closer than that. And now Baszler. We've seen her win championships with this maneuver right here, Baszler. Looking to capitalize. She's got Lynch right where he wants her. Shoulders down for the SmackDown Women's Championship and a kick out of two. Near fall after near fall. Cover. And a kick out by Lynch. And now Baszler with those knees, repeated knees to the face of Lynch. Oh my God. And now Baszler hooks her in. Suplex. Could it be a foregone conclusion that Shayna Baszler could be crowning herself women's champion again? Oh no. Baszler, caught off guard into the Disarmor, caught off guard into the Disarmor, Baszler in trouble, and Baszler finally taps, Becky Lynch gets it done on SmackDown. Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Out of left field, but Becky Lynch gets what she wanted, she gets Shayna Baszler, to tap out. We thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the 2021 WWE Draft. Next week, a new era of Raw and SmackDown begins. Join us then. Thank you so much. Good night from Houston.